I'm from Parma in Italy and I'm one of the engineers in charge at the LHC. We're a team of seven people and we cover 24-7 LHC operation. So at any given time in which the LHC is operating, there's one of us in the control room and we're the ones who are responsible for what the LHC does. We're the first one to see what happens. The fact that you're sitting in the control room, we're the eyes of the machine, really. There's one, one engineer in charge, like that's the role I have. And to help me with the job, there's one operator. And it's very experienced people who have been doing this job of operating accelerators for tens of years sometimes. And it's a team of two people and it's us who do what needs to be done. So a normal day in operations, uh, when we arrive at shift, we do the handover. That means the, the night crew tells to the, the morning crew what has happened during the night and things to, we have to take care of during the day. We're really driving the machine, that's what we can say. Uh, the LHC is this big uh, accelerator, it's the most powerful in the world now, and it's, uh, it's an object. So the whole hardware is there, but it's waiting for someone to use it. And we, he, here, we in the control room are the ones who use it. If something breaks, then we either fix it ourselves or we call up the, pe the people who fix it. So we have people on call that come in at any given time day or night to fix stuff that breaks. Um, after that, we need to close up the machine again if someone had to access and we start preparing it for beam. So it means we set up all the systems, uh, say the RF, the collimators, the superconducting magnets, everything needs to be prepared so that it can take beam. And, uh, and then once we have beam, there's a few things we need to do. For example, we inject it. We need to take a few shots from the previous accelerator into the, our machine. And, uh, and then we accelerate it because we want to go to the high energy, right? So we do what we call the ramp. And, uh, and then we make the beams really, really tiny at the interaction point. That's what we call the squeeze. And we make them tiny, tiny so that we can get more collisions for the experiments. We focus the beam very tight so that uh, we uh, have a good collisions. When that has been done, then we bring the beam into collisions. When that is done, we declare stable beam. That means it's a, it's a signal to the experiments so that uh, they can switch on the detector and start taking data. And then we try to keep the beam in there as long as possible. We're part of something big and from the control room, we're really in the center of what happens. I'm super proud of, uh, of working here on the LHC. I feel exceptionally proud to be, be able to be part of this super event to that, that happens only once in a lifetime. You really feel you're like, you're helping like knowledge of humankind advance step by step.